up everybody how is it going uh, I'm just kind of hanging out I hope you all doing well uh, it's been a great day I've been working on a building a vinyl collection update for a while and today's the day I'm gonna finally do it because I found one particular album but what we're playing in the background is Salvin Realm uh, the Lodge of Transcendence released in a I think 2023, I think. I'm not sure on a year on this. Uh, I ordered a CD off uh, Amazon, not Amazon, but Discogs in the seller. I think it's Reverie. Um, sent this with the package. And after chatting with him for a while, found out that it's his project. It's a one man band out of Maryland, Black Metal, which really cool. I love this part right here. several different uh, things going on in this. It's predominantly uh, it's black metal, but there's some punk, some thrash, some heavy metal on it as well. Uh, really enjoy the vocals on this, the drumming on this, the guitar work. This is uh, a damn good album. Six tracks on this thing. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I believe the band was called Reverie before. He sent me both these CDs. This is more doomy black metal it's really good but uh, I chose to pick this one because I really love this song right here and um, I thought I'd share it with you guys maybe something something to check out so Salvin Realm the Lodge of Transcendence I'll post the link in the description below so it's been a fantastic day for me uh, one of those if you're like a record collector like I am and there's always records that you're looking for and then you go to a record shop and you're thumbing through and then you see the top letters of something that just kind of pops out like that and uh, you, you just get this feeling uh, unbelievable feeling I've been looking for this album for decades uh, I have I have this on a dub cassette Every time somebody shows this album, I'm, my mouth is drooling because I've always wanted this freaking record. And uh, today, I finally own it. So this is Paradox Heresy out of Germany. Uh, released in 1989. It's a concept album about its nights in the 13th century. I can't remember what it's called right off the top of my head, but read up on it. It's very interesting read. And uh, this concept album, thrash metal album, speed metal album is just a perfect album uh, with power metal vocals and um, just tw uh, fantastic guitars, fantastic drums man I love this album and I'm so stoked I have it finally in my collection um, this is a reissue which I don't care I really don't, <laughs> real gone music so um, of course uh, Roadrunner is on the top of it and it's a pretty good, looks like the the ones I see everybody else that get, has this thing. Kind of looks like their copy. They kind of did the same thing. But uh, I think this is a reissue from a few years ago. Uh, this is Gray Robe Black. It looks black, but it's actually tr uh, translucent. And you can see through it, but it's black. There, you can kind of see me through it there. But uh, what a fantastic album. I, if you don't know this album, look it up. This is a joy to listen to. And uh, finally got it. Oh, here it is. So from the 14th to the 13th century, a particular religious sect was allowed to grow in the Black Dog region of France called Catherania. This dualist thinking religion flourished not only with poor but also people with counts of tutelus and uh, great whatever. I'm not going to read this. I'm not a very good reader <laughs> sometimes. But I mean, it tells you kind of what this concept is, and it's just a fantastic thrash speed metal album. Paradox Heresy 
finally got a copy. I know Thomas is probably going, smiling because he knows I've been looking for that for a while. So, uh, this uh, collection is predominantly brutal death metal. There is some death core in it. Um, there is some slam and uh, there is some more thrash. So it has a little bit for everybody because I like everything. Um, I told Roger that I was going to post a up collection update video because of suffocation. He showed uh, Souls to Deny on his uh, 10 favorite uh, album title tracks. Uh, response to uh, First World Metal. So uh, I responded that, responded to his and said that uh, I've been really into uh, Suffocation lately and I picked up all their studio albums. So I finished it and I picked up four. And uh, so, and then this all happened after listening to Blood Oath. I know a lot of people really frown on the album. I freaking love it. And this kind of sounds a little bit like Blood Oath to me, Suffocation. They're self-titled, released in 2006. And I really dig this one. I did this one a lot. I only listened to it once, so I really don't have a favorite track yet. But this is just a video showing a collection update. That's what all this is. Cool variant. Some uh, windmill black, white, and blue. Dig that color. And then the inlay. There is going to be some CDs, by the way. The inlay looks like this. Pretty cool. Kind of matches the, the vinyl from that background of the band. But that's a killer album. I listened to it, enjoyed the shit out of it. But like I said, I got so much uh, suffocation that I listened to them all. And uh, I couldn't really give you a good review on it right now. Uh, next one. Let's see if I get this in order. Let's get this in order. Um, Picked up 2013, I think, is when this was released. Uh, Pinnacles of Bedlam. This, that one was on Relapse. This one's on uh, Nuclear Blast. But uh, this is freaking killer. Holy shit. So I never did listen to this when it came out. And um, my first lesson was actually when I got this record. So it was a brand new experience for me. Because um, as you know, I'm an old school death metal guy. I have all Suffocation's first albums, but now my collection is complete, and this one is fantastic. I love the guitar solos in this one. I think this is the best guitar solos in it. Cover art kind of bugs me a little bit. It looks like Disturbed, I guess, but I'm not picky. It still looks cool. Uh, variant on this bad boy is beautiful. Yellow and uh, black, and then on this side is that looks freaking sick um, but anyway yeah I'm so stoked to have this um, my favorite track when I was listening to this is the opening track because that guitar solo is divine that guitar solo is divine there was also a track with clean guitar Solemn Days I think it was and I like how they they had one guitar going the opposite direction and making it sound out of tune kind of sound cool but the, uh, this is a fantastic album. I'm just so stoked to have it. So that, and then uh, the, the last two Suffocation albums I picked up was on CD, and I uh, got End of Dark Light. And uh, I, I listened to it once. I need to listen to it some more. But um, I found it pretty damn good. I'll just say that. But it was one of those albums I have to listen to a couple of times. I think this is their. Uh, eighth album if I remember right 2017 comes out with the old-fashioned shitload of freaking folds so I'm not gonna do that and fuck it all up <laughs> but uh, so stoked to have this one and uh, probably gonna listen to this a little bit more see if I can get into it a little bit more I, I did like what I hear heard but I'm one of those guys sometimes it takes a couple listens uh, then I picked up their newest album 2023 and holy shit this is freaking killer uh what's this the hymns of apocrypha profica yeah me and uh pronouncing <coughs> words right now and trying to choke at the same time it's not good but this is this artwork's cool i could have got this on wax but i wanted to have a dark light i had a limit 
when I was ordering. <coughs> and um, that, there you have it. I just picked them up on CD because I know later I can pick them back up on wax later. So that's my suffocation part of it. Uh, then I got this freaking beast. Let me get this wax out of here. Uh, this is a beast. Holy shit, this is ingested. Uh, the Sur Surreptition Part 2. Released in... When was this released? I wrote it down, so I wouldn't fuck it up. 2021. This is a, a band out of the UK, apparently. I have their first album that uh, Life Eternal sent to me. And I love that damn thing. I made a video reaction to that one of the tracks, and it just blew me away, that slam part. So... When I saw this at the record store, I was like, oh, hell yes, I'm getting this motherfucker. And I am glad I did. I love this damn thing. Uh, every track on this thing was killer. I listened to this several times. Actually, I went over this um, right after suffocation. I had to listen to this thing again. Uh, it is brutal, technical death metal, a slam. Uh, the vocalists, I don't know if there's multiple vocalists, but... <clears throat> There are so many registers the vocalist is doing. A low guttural whenever there's slam parts. <clears throat> whenever there's just regular death metal or brutal death metal, a standard death metal vocal. And then whenever they hit some of the tremolo picking, he'll layer it up with uh, gutturals and a, a black metal vocal. There's so many layers. So much attitude in this freaking album. I love this thing to death. Uh, I love how the tremolo picking sounds on this thing. And then they'll quickly go into a slam part and back into an old school death metal sounding riff and just awesome. Um, Crowning the Abomination, I love that one. They come in unperceived. There's a, uh, a synth part in that towards the end of the track that gives it a lot of atmosphere and I love how that sounds. Kingmaker, I love that track. Manifesting Obscenity. Actually, I think Manifesting Obscenity is the track I was talking about with the synth work. And the Alpha and Omega, that's um, the last track. It's all side D, so it's a pretty long track and has some atmospheric parts. Uh, this is a freaking masterpiece. I love this damn album. But variants on this one is uh, Smoky Red, I guess, or maybe Flesh. This is a killer freaking album. I love it. I love this thing. Um, let's go with another CD. That will be the last of the CDs. Uh, I picked up Cattle Ca Decapitations Karma Bloody Karma. Uh, this is their third studio album. And uh, I don't remember when it was released. I think it was released in 2006. I should have wrote it down. But been really getting into Cattle Decapitation lately. Uh, I thought I'd pick this CD up. I did see the vinyl, but they wanted to freaking change for it, and I didn't feel like uh, dishing that much change, so the CD was fine with me. Uh, first track on it is killer, or it's an intro, but the, the main meat of it. Uh, this is pretty much uh, brutal death metal. That's what this is, and this is fantastic stuff. Love the artwork, too. That looks killer. Couldn't get this sleeve out. There we go. And he does some goblin vocals on this, but it sounds more of a like a black metal sound. So I think this may be the album he started doing the blue on, but uh, I really dig this one. So uh, I think I have four cattle decapitation albums now. I'm still working on building it up. But uh, I like their earlier stuff. This stuff is freaking awesome. So, Cattle Decapitation, Karma Bloody Karma. Fucking killer. So then I'm going to get something that might make some people shriek. But I fucking love it. Um, it's a blind buy. I just saw it in the store. There's a couple blind buys in here and I'll point those out. I've heard of the band. I think this band is called, I wrote it down so I wouldn't fuck it up. Thy, Thy Heart is Murder, and this album's called Hate, released in 2012, bands out of Australia, and uh, it's deathcore, but it's uh, a symphonic 
not, not this one's not fun, but it's, a, it's Deathcore. I had this mixed up with the other band. It's killer. I love the guitar solos in it. The guitar solos against the background of that choppy sound. Guitars just kind of flow real smooth. The vocals are fucking killer on this thing. Drums, I love it. Love this album. Uh, Reign of Darkness, I really dig that track. Shadow of Eternal Sin was killer. Immolation was a killer track. Infinite Forms, Gateways of Misery, um, Doom from Birth. Oh yeah, Doom from Birth. This is a killer album. Just uh, that modern, uh, brutal death metal sound. And I, I love it. Look at this variant. It's a yellow with uh, red and purple. Great record, so I mean, not everybody's gonna like Deathcore. I'm slowly getting into it, but it's not something that I'd listen to all the time. But this is this is actually a good record, so killer blind, blind by there. Um, this next record I showed a while back in a video that I took down, but uh, I'm gonna show it in this collection updates because I don't believe I uh, came back to it. But of course, I got Death Angel. A uh, human aside, and this was released, I wrote it down, 2019. So, I think this is their ninth studio album, and I really dig this one a lot. Human aside, it was killer. Define uh, Defector, I really like that. There's some kind of death metal, almost uh, Dark Angel sounding stuff in it. Vocals are killer. The pack, I loved a lot. Um, of Rats and Men. The variant is a uh, Kind of on a clear with purple. This is a killer record, so glad it's in my collection. I've been wanting to get it for a while because I like anything with wolves on it. And so I'm trying to get all their records, so I have that. And I uh, really enjoy Death, Lip, Death Angel. I think I'm only missing three albums. I think three albums, but look at the artwork. Love that. Fucking killer. And then um, I think this was a recommendation off somebody's channel. I don't remember which it was. I think it was. I think it was Metal Mickey. Uh, this one's on on Black Wax. I'm not gonna show it, but uh, I've got this heavy metal album out of the UK. This is uh, this is Seven Sisters, The Cauldron, and The Cross. Um, really cool, kind of power metal -y, heavy, standard 80s heavy metal, speed metal a little bit. Uh, really enjoyed this record. Uh, saw it. It was a blind buy because I just remember uh, somebody mentioned it. I'm pretty sure it was Metal Mickey. But uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this album. That's pretty good. The only thing I didn't really like is the vocals are kind of, I think they need to be meaner. If they're meaner, this album would probably be top notch. But right now it's probably a seven out of 10, it's that good. Not saying the vocals are bad, it's just uh, if I was the vocalist, I would have been, I probably shouldn't critique somebody, it's their art, so I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> and then um, I've got two more records to show you. Uh, this is another blind buy. I've heard of Cataclysm. Um, I've seen this artwork. This is Cataclysm and Cogcord, released in 2021, I believe. Um, or 2022, it's on the back, Steve. Uh, this is okay. It's uh, it remind me a lot of like At the Gate's Slaughter of the Soul. That's uh, the vocalist kind of had that cadence. There's a little bit of melodic stuff in this. Uh, there is a very down tune guitar in this, very deep. So they're playing probably eight string maybe to get that freaking low. Um, but uh, the melodies in this and the aggression, uh, the vocals are really, really cool. Kind of a, almost metalcore. I'd say this is almost metalcore to me. It's death metal, but uh, the kill shot I really dig a lot. Um, I think under er, underneath the scars was good. Uh, stitches it had some attitude to it, but uh, when it's over, um, it's it's pretty good. It's one of those ones I need to listen to a couple more times. This comes with the Lurk Sheet band. And the variant on this one was this cool 
red with uh, black stripe. But yeah, if you like uh, At The Gates, Slaughter of the Soul, you'll like this album. And I like, of course, Slaughter of the Soul. So this one, maybe it's um, something that needs to be spent a little bit more. I think that guitar, one guitar was kind of bugging the shit out of me because it almost made it sound death ish But Cataclysm Unconquered. And then the very last record was another blind buy. And it was this one, Bone Carver. This is Carnage Funeral. Uh, I believe they're out in Madrid, Spain. I believe uh, that's where they are. And this is the band I kind of got. Uh, Thy murder is our. Thy art is murder. <laughs> mixed up with this is a symphonic, black and deathcore album. And uh, I need to listen to this a little bit more. It starts, it's starting to grow on me. I think I've listened to it twice. It's starting to grow on me. Um, but I mainly picked it up because of the artwork. I didn't know what it was. And I uh, love the artwork to this. Bad boy. But, uh, yeah, it's one of those that's going to have to grow on me. I do like the symphonic stuff. It's actually, it sounds like an orchestra, so it's not really sounds too much like synth sounds kind of like septic flesh but a black and deathcore version of septic flesh i guess a later error but uh it's not bad um i'm gonna listen to it a couple more times see what i think it's growing on me like i said but carnage funeral it's got a long intro and it's pretty cool i think i liked ancient atrocity was a really good one the red wake and uh, Bereavement. I really like the song Bereavement. But uh, anyway, there you have it. That's my video. Uh, hope you like this one. This one was fun as hell to do. Because uh, I so stoked about that paradox. But uh, Salvin Ralph was playing in the background. So definitely look this band up. This guy needs your support. This is a fantastic release. Good stuff. Anyway, I'll have a good one later.